I'm the Dainty Philippine Adventures and today we're gonna visit the La Jolla Luxury Beach Resort and we're gonna do a resort tour. Let's go! The beach resort is in the northeast of the main island of Luzon. Three to four hours away siya sa Manila pag din drive mo. It is in the northern province of Bagak, Bataan. And here we are in their main building, the reception hall. In this video, I'm gonna show you around the beach resort, show you the fun things to do, the amenities that they have, and what you should be expecting when you visit. Also, I'm gonna be showing you the food, the restaurant, and their breakfast buffet. I do have a separate video of room tours for La Jolla. Do check that out. I did cover all the rooms that they have available here. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my rating of this place out of 5 stars. And I'm gonna be answering, do they deserve to be called a luxury beach resort in the first place? Very welcoming tong reception area nila. Maganda ang design. Ramdam na ramdam mo ang beach vibe. The staff here is very friendly and professional. And right there is where you check in. Alright, let's get out of here and let's check the beach area. The resort is a bit big and they do offer shuttle services that you can request to take you from here to wherever you want to go. But right now, since I'm taking you on a tour, we're going to take a walk. So dito, meron silang beach bar, infinity pool, mga cabanas, at saka aqua sports. So yung mga aqua sports, nag-o-offer sila ng rental ng jet ski, kayak, banana boat, at saka yung paddle boating. And I know what you're thinking, why do they offer cabanas here? Because they offer day trips. So for a luxury beach resort, that's a little bit suspect. But well, let's keep an open mind and continue exploring. Alam ko, parang ang daming hagdan papunta dun sa beach. Pero, I'm only taking the scenic route for you guys so you can really check out the ambience, the look, and the feel of this beach resort. And as I mentioned earlier, they do offer a shuttle service to wherever you want to go within the resort. Let's quickly talk about their room rates. The cheapest one they actually offer would be the premium room. It's around 8,600 pesos. And the most expensive room that they have is called the family room with loft, which is around 24,500 pesos. Meron tayong separate video about yung rooms nila na ginawa ko na i-cover natin lahat ng rooms na ina-offer nila. Check niyo na. And here we are at the beach area. Look at that site. Very beautiful waters. All white sand here at the beach front area. Not as fine as I was expecting, but it's still white sand. And the place is situated at a cove. And as you can see, the waters are really calm. So this is best for beginner swimmers and also for the kids. At para doon sa mga palaging nanonood ng videos ko, alam na alam niya naman na fan na fan ako ng lugar na hindi masyadong matao. So nakikita niya man ninyo, wala masyadong tao dito sa beach resort na to. So yes, like ko siya. Hey, if you find this video fun, helpful, and enjoying it, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and also like the video. I would also really appreciate if you share this to your friends. That would really be helpful for me. It will enable me to make more videos similar to this. Maraming salamat! I'm noticing that the sand near the water is a bit more rough. Let me check that out. Yep, towards the water, the sand is not so fine anymore. It's actually a bit rough and has stones in it. So the sand is finer and more powdery towards the tree line. So I'd probably stick around here more. <laughs> 
At ayun nga, meron silang mga pinapahiram dito na mga gears like life vest, snorkeling gear, fins, at kung ano-ano pa. And you know me, I like going snorkeling and free diving. So I'm gonna do that in a bit. Maganda ang tubig dito. Malinaw, malinis, at hindi ganun kalamig. Meron nga lang silang katabing parang public resort doon. Yan, na medyo may kaingayan kasi nagbibideo ako yung mga tao. Anyway, let's go and check the other amenities that they have here. Oh, you remember the shuttle service I was talking about earlier? So this is one of them. So they have a lot of these trucks going around. Oh, and this one I think has seen better days. Oof. That's really rough. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go visit the other amenities here. We're currently on our way to the infinity pool. Hmm? Ang ganda naman ito. Cute. Diba, wala masyadong tao? Kayo ba, mahilig din ba kayo sa mga lugar na hindi masyadong matao? Let me know sa comments box, ha? So this one I really like. This is their shower area for when you go to the pool or to the beach. Kinda blends to the ambience. I really like it. Another thing that I really like here is these platforms. That one. They have a lot of these wrapped around the trees where you can just lie down, lounge, and chill out. They have a lot of places where you can really just zone out, like chairs, lounge areas, where you can really be one with nature. That's really nice, right? Dito naman, ito yung gusto kong tawagin na second beach area nila. Dito may mga malalaking bato na, kaya parang pang-adventure na talaga. Pero kalmado pa rin naman yung dagat. Oh, is that safe? Better avoid that. Let me just go ahead and step over here. Okay, let's go to the infinity pool. On the right is the beach bar. And of course, right there is the infinity pool. Let's go and explore. Meron ding tatlong jacuzzi dito na magkakatabi na pwede natin enjoyin. And of course, the infinity pool. Very nice. Look at the view. You get to see the sea while you're swimming in the pool. Cool. All right, let's move on. We have a lot of amenities to visit. For the kids, they have a playground area. Siguradong mag enjoy ang mga kids nyo pagkatapos nila magsawa sa beach at sa pool. And for the more adventurous ones, they have ATVs here for rent as well. This is the ATV jump off. And beyond that, they also actually offer archery. Very interesting. What irks me is they have a shuttle service that is supposed to shuttle you all around the beach resort. But as you can see, there are cars within the compound. So it kind of defeats the purpose of the shuttle service and kind of takes off the feel of this place being a luxury beach resort.
para naman sa mga fitness buff chan, meron silang full gym dito. Ang sabi sa akin, free ang usage ng gym na to. Yun nga lang ngayon, sarado siya. And for you sports fanatics, they actually have a tennis court here and also a basketball court right there. And this has got to be my favorite place in all of the resort, the wellness spa. I'm going to spend a lot of time here later tonight. Ayan, na-cover ko na lahat ng amenities dito. Tingnan naman natin ano kaya ang itsure dito paggabi at tingnan naman natin yung mga kainan. Tara! Wow! Very impressive. La Hola at night is very bright and very nice. Wow! I'm not sure if you can see it, but someone is proposing right now. There! Wow! Good luck! I hope he gets her yes. They also do offer free concerts here during certain holidays or events. And we're very lucky tonight. There's one. Come on, let's check it out. Mukhang cover band yung nagko-concert ngayon. Ang galing ng babae. Mga Whitney Houston songs yung mga binabanata niya. Galing! They do have three restaurants here. The first one is called Bamboo Plate. And the biggest restaurant that they have is Mango Cafe. I think they used to call it Mango Grove. And the third one is Coco Grill. Tonight, we tried Coco Grill. So for seafood and meat, all grilled, all good, and all of the drinks are okay. Expect to spend 600 pesos per person or $11. And I'd say the food is okay. Nothing spectacular, just okay. Alright, early morning and we're gonna be trying their breakfast buffet. And we did get a ride in one of their better looking shuttles. <laughs> Alright, here we go! We have quite a crowd this morning. They have a salad bar here, some cold cuts, and arroz caldo, a local porridge. They also offer dangit and toyo local fish, fried, and hot dogs, and some other fried stuff. So this is tapa, pork, and tocino. This one is on the sweet side. Some fish, 
and adobo rice and white rice. Ooh, big crowd. Of course, coffee and some local rice cakes here. And look at this! A fly trap or a rat trap? Hmm. Oh! Cereal and a toaster for the breads! This I really like. And an egg station! Nice! So, how would I rate La Hola? Let's put it this way. This is one of their doors in one of their rooms. Look at this door. It's not even a proper door. And with that being said, I'm giving La Hola 2 out of 5 stars. And our question, is it a luxury beach resort? Well, you've seen the video and you've seen the things that they need to improve on. So no, this is not a luxury beach resort. Alright everyone, I do hope you found this video helpful and you did enjoy it. Let me catch you in my next one. Maraming salamat!